everything that you can imagine, you can also achieve because it already exists. Every possible version of yourself that you can imagine already exists in the universe or in other words, on the quantum fields. But in order to achieve your dreams and live your dream life, there's two extremely important parts of the process. The mindset and the practical. The mindset part consists of your head, your mind, and what it has to do with achieving your dreams and your dream life. And the practical part consists of the practical steps that you need to take in order to live your dream life and achieve your dreams. I'm going to start with the practical steps that you need to take. The first step that you need to take in order to achieve your dreams and live your dream life is figure out what you want to do. First and foremost, before you start doing anything, you need to decide for yourself, what is it that you want to do? You need to get that very clear for yourself because if you have many wantings and you want to achieve many things at the same time, your focus is going to be split. And that's a no-no because you want one thing, then you want another thing, and then you want a third thing, which eventually will lead into achieving nothing because your focus is split. You need that focus. And of course, we all want many things in life. Obviously, that's very natural. But what you need to do in order to start achieving your dream life, you need to focus at one thing at a time. And then you add more things to your life once the first thing that you focused on starts to get rolling. So for those who know what they want from life, this step will be very easy, but for those who don't and can't really decide, I recommend you watching this video on how to figure out what you want to do with your life. So that video will help you a lot if you still don't know what you want to do with your life. Definitely check it out, the video is linked here and it's also in the description if you want to find it later. But if you're someone who already knows what you want from your life and you know what dream you want to focus on, I want you to write it down and you need to write it very clear and detailed. And why it's super important to write it down is because if you don't, if you just keep it in your head, it's very unorganized, whereas if you write it down, you get it very clear and detailed so you keep yourself focused by writing it down and you also get your thoughts organized by writing it down. And every time you lose focus, get anxious or frustrated, you can read it again and you get back on your course. Because believe me, that will happen a lot. Before we move any further, I need to make one thing clear for you. If you watch only one part of this video, make sure it's this one. First of all, anything that you decide to do in your life requires the exact same input. However, your brain will choose for the safest and most simple option because your brain is lazy. Its primary task is to keep you safe and alive so it will avoid anything that includes fear because fear is a sign of danger. And what your body perceived as danger many, many years ago during hunters and collectors was a situation that would have probably made you really die. Whereas in today's world, such situation where the sign of fear will actually result in death is very rare. And that's why the feeling of fear is so extremely powerful feeling. It's one of the most powerful feelings because its primary task is to actually signal to your body that, hey, hello, there's a dangerous situation, you need to keep me safe. You need to make all the body reactions ready to keep me safe, to either run or fight. And that's why the feeling of fear is so hard to overcome, because it literally feels like you're battling with yourself. But why I'm saying all this? Because I strongly believe that the biggest growth happens in the zone of fear. When you are deciding what to do with your life, please keep this, what I just said, in mind. And please try to overcome the feeling of fear and follow the fear. Because the biggest transformation in your life will happen exactly there. Okay, I said what I wanted to say, now we move on to the next step. The next step is to create a plan. So now that you've written down what you want to focus on, very clear and detailed, you need to create a plan. However, the plan doesn't need to be super clear and detailed, because somehow the higher power always organizes stuff for us. But what I mean with this is that it's not enough to just figure out what you want to do, write it down, close the journal and sit and wait. No, <laughs> you need to actually work for it. And in order to work for it, you need a plan. I would call it like an action plan. Here's how you do it. So you have your goal, the thing you want to focus on that will take you closer to your dream life and achieving your dreams. So you have that clear in the first step. Now you need to look at it, at that which you've written down and ask yourself this question. What are the steps I need to take in order to get closer to this, in order for this to come true, in order to achieve this? What are the steps? I need to take. The smaller you make these steps, 
the better and easier it is for you to first of all keep track of it and also achieve it. To make this easier to understand, let's visualize this in a form of an example. Let's say you have a job that you really want to have, you have your dream job, a dream title that you want to achieve. Let's say the dream title, the dream job will be a creative manager at some nice company. Well, if you're just graduated from university, chances are that you're not going to be hired as a creative manager of some cool company immediately. No, but it also doesn't mean that it's impossible to achieve. What it means is that you need to grow into that position. You need to take steps that will take you closer to that dream. Such steps will be to get hired at an entry-level job that will take you closer, that will prepare you for the title and job that you're actually aspiring. Other steps could be training your skills and your free time, if you're so dedicated. Do freelancer jobs to gain more experience, or even practice just with friends. Read something on the topic every day for one hour, for example, and so on. I think you get the point by now. So the action plan consists of small steps that can take you closer to where you wanna go, where you wanna be. And the third practical step is to follow the plan. And following the plan consists of three parts. Part one, focus, focus, focus. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your plan. As I mentioned in the beginning, if you get distracted and you lose your focus, you lose your dream. Step number two, keep your eyes open for new opportunities. I think this sentence speaks already for itself. I don't need to explain it any further. Just if an opportunity arises, say yes. And step number three is to say no to anything else that is not according to your dream life and how you want it to be. So for example, if you want to be a content creator and you want to live in Paris, that is the plan. The plan is not to live in Paris and work as a waitress in a cafe, right? So if you get an opportunity to move to Paris to work in a cafe, what do you do? You say no, because your plan was to live in Paris and be a content creator, right? So these were the practical steps that will help you to achieve your dreams and live your dream life. And that's the first important part to living your dream life. However, I would argue that the mindset part is slightly more important than the practical steps, but also if there is no practical steps, there is also no dream life. So they're both very crucial parts in achieving your dreams and living your dream life, but the mindset part is slightly more important because you can journal all you want, but if your mindset is off, it's all pointless. So let's move on to the magics of the mindset, shall we? When it comes to mindset, the number one thing you need to have is the belief. Without the ability to believe into what you're doing, it's a game over. Because no one else is going to believe in you. If you have people around you who believe in you and support you, you are extremely lucky, know that. Because most of the people are surrounded by small-minded and limited people who are dragging down them with them. So number one thing that you gotta have in order to make it is to believe that you're gonna make it. Be delusional. The next thing that comes to your mindset is that you need to train it. Because your mindset can either make or break your life. Your mindset is either your friend or your enemy. That's why you need to rather plant good stuff into your mindset. Your mindset has been formed during your life and childhood and the bad news is that it's not 100% in your control what has been planted there during your childhood. But however, the good news are that as an adult, you can take control of what you decide to believe and how you decide to further form your mindset. The good ways to train your mindset will be to start surrounding yourself with people who are open-minded and positive, start reading books, start learning about growth mindset, start listening to podcasts, meditation, start distancing yourself from people, things and situations that affect your mindset in a bad way. And even consider a therapist if it's needed. The next thing when it comes to mindset is to overcome yourself. As I mentioned in the beginning, your brain is lazy. You are to the core, you are lazy as a human being, but that you can overcome. But in order to overcome that, you need to become conscious about how your brain tries to trick you into not doing things. It comes up with excuses, constant excuses that it's too late, it's too early, you're too tired, that's not good, you don't have the good skills, all kind of these things. It's the inner conversation that's going inside of you that's trying to convince you to not do things. And that is what you need to overcome. So you need to overcome literally yourself. If we would visualize it, it's like two people fighting in a ring who gets to decide what we are going to do next. You understand? The other person in the ring is for the not doing what you want to do and the other person in the ring, so that will be actually you, who is for doing things. But who 
wins is the one who is more powerful. But the thing is that this person who tries to convince you not to do things is slightly more powerful in terms of will. Because it's easier to be submissive to that feeling of being lazy, not changing anything and continue as you used to do things. So when you're changing something about yourself, when you're just starting something new, it is a little bit harder because you actually have to change some behavioral patterns in you. But in order to achieve your dream life, you need to change something what you're doing currently. So in order to change something and start living your dream life, you need to overcome yourself. And the next crucial part when it comes to mindset is you need to be determined and don't quit. Implement this super determined mindset where it's not a matter of if, but it's a matter of when. So it's not if it happens, it's when it happens. When you think like that, it's much easier to keep going because you also automatically create the belief because it's not anymore if it will happen, it's when it will happen. And this determination is also something that will determine, determine whether you're going to get what you want because if you're so dedicated and determined, of course you're going to get it. There's no way you're not going to. And then something that will really help you to grow your mindset and develop your mindset and keep going is to find a support network. Surround yourself with supportive people. Find someone you can turn to in hard situations when you feel like quitting or someone who will keep motivating you. It can be some person who is going to be close to you. It can be your friend, it can be your relative, it can be someone you are going to hire, a mentor, but you need someone in your life who is going to keep you in check because the most successful people on this earth, everyone, had someone behind them, supporting them. There is no single person on this earth who has made it alone. There is no such thing as a self-made millionaire. Every millionaire has a whole f team behind them. It's really crucial because obviously we humans tend to doubt ourselves, especially in the situations when it gets hard, when you're not seeing results, when it's not working out as you want, when it's not moving to the direction as you want when things are hard and because things are going to be hard it's not easy to achieve your dream life even though it's totally worth it but it's not easy so that's why you need your support network where you can go and be supported look at it like this if you're surrounded by people who are negative they have limiting beliefs and they think everything is unrealistic sooner or later no matter how determined ambitious and enthusiastic person you are, you're also going to be sucked by those attitudes of those people you're surrounded by. Whereas if you are surrounded by people who are super ambitious, they are go-getters, they get their goals, they work on themselves, they are super effective per people and they think that reality is subjective, you're also probably going to be like that and you're going to even get more and more support to your thoughts. And in which kind of group are you most likely going to achieve your dreams? I think in the latter, right? And to make this very clear, this doesn't mean that you need to ditch all your underperforming friends, so to say. No, if those people bring value to your life and they are good as friends, then no, I'm not saying you need to ditch your friends. But what I'm saying is that you need to find a support network that will help you in achieving your dreams, your professional goals. And most importantly, fall in love with the journey, aka have patience. If you cannot fall in love with the journey, just relax and let things happen in their own pace. Have patience, then you have already failed. Because nothing is achieved overnight nothing. If you want the end goal but not the journey, then maybe reconsider the end goal into something where you will also enjoy the whole journey as well. And if you find it hard to be patient, then maybe this will help you. Think of the journey towards your dream life as growing a garden. You first plant the seeds, then you water it and slowly it starts to grow. However, if you don't continue taking care of your little garden, the growth will stop, it will stagnate and eventually your garden will die. Exactly the same with your dreams. You first plant the seeds, then you water it by taking action, showing up consistently and improving your skills. Soon you'll start to see crops aka results, but those crops aka results will die very quickly if you stop taking care of them. So you need to consistently keep showing up for your garden aka for your dreams. And just know this, starting a whole new garden takes much more time and effort 
than taking care of an already existing one. And that's pretty much it, a whole recipe into achieving your dreams and living your dream life. If you follow these steps and implement everything I said in this video, there is no way you won't achieve your dream life. Take very good care of your mindset because everything starts from here, from your head, and decide what you want and say no to anything else, period. Give this video a like and subscribe to this channel and all your dreams will come true. No, that's bullshit. But it might help to make my dreams to come true. Your dreams will come true if you implement everything I said in this video. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.